acting, you know, it's fun, except when you have a, a watch in your ass for 10 years. Boom. Oh, anyway, well, it worked wait. a lot in there. I no, had close range, but that was good. Wow. Um, I love this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Chris. Chris. Thank you. Chris <laughs> Walken. <laughs> Well, thank you, Andrew Bowen, for joining us. Hey, thank you, Warren. Thank you, you for having me. You are the star. I am the star of this movie. It's 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 amazing. The star. I paid them movie. so much money to get this opportunity. Okay. Which is so, a yes, go. Go yes. no, you go. No, oh, see, no, no, you go. See, you're, you're oh, in, here we you go. You are in pit junket mode. It. I'm in go, the zone go, here. Go ahead. Um, okay. Anyway, it sounded like you were going to do a little little pitch. A little dig I was just going to do one of these. Da, da, da. So now, uh, Butterfly Dreaming. I hate to talk about the movie, but yes. what the heck? Let's but do hey, it anyway. Let's, let's talk about it anyways. A little bit about reality and perception. It is. And stuff like that. Well, so to speak, when you're losing your mind, you don't think you're losing your mind. Right. That's the big thing about it. And like, people who are crazy don't think that they're crazy. That's when people say that when they ask me, are you crazy? And I'm like, yeah, because then you know, you're as close as you can to being normal. Now, the film can be read. Two different ways. I about whether read three ways. Three ways. I honestly well, think you can be who doesn't three love ways. three ways? But uh, <laughs> when you read the script, honestly, did you go like, "Oh, I know exactly"? No, I didn't. I didn't know exactly. But what I did when I read it, um, and I finally got it, and Rufus decided to to invite me to, to come on board. I specifically asked him to not tell me what were dreams and what weren't. You did not want to know. I did not want to know when I was shooting up because I wanted to have Rob the character play everything like it was really happening. Was that just a time saver because he didn't want to like figure it out? He doesn't yeah, want to approach really, Let's go. Yes, that's it. <laughs> I should just leave now. <laughs> Thank you, bye. I'm having weird dreams. Are you here for the sleep study? And when I wake up, I'm not even sure if they're dreams. She's dead. Don't start acting like everything was peachy with you two. You think you sabotaged your marriage, Rob? I'm having trouble with my memory. I, I can't remember certain things. Do you have any reason to believe that your wife may have deliberately driven off the marriage? Trust me. So let's uh, talk about Rufus for just a second. Okay. Because he comes across as a little bit of a pompous ass. And I he saw is that. Eight. Dick. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Writer, producer, director. Does that scare the crap out of you as an actor? <laughs> you know what? You know, uh, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No, and, no, and, and no. Not about, was, not about Rufus, but does yeah, it, isn't yeah, that scary? It's, it's just, it all depends on whether they got an ego or not. And they all do, but whether they wear it on their shoulder or not. And Rufus wears his, like, <laughs> uh, it's like a cape. I come in, it's like, Batman. Nope, it's Rufus. Uh, <laughs> um, um, be honest, should I be high to see it? Should you be what? High when I go see the movie. Oh, no, not at all. No, not at all. Not, not at all. all. <laughs> it's no. too, far too complex. <laughs> it is too complex? Well, no. I, you know what? It's, it, it's funny. When I watched Mulholland Drive myself, mm -hmm. um, I remember watching the whole movie and thinking, this is great, this is great, this is great, this is great. And then at the end of the movie, I said to myself, I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> I, I kind of like it if, if, if audiences felt a little bit similar. It's, it's a lot more coherent than Holland Drive, having said that. God I mean, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> a lot more coherent. I mean, and especially in the local bit, I mean, at the end of the day, there's sort of two versions that you're, you're opting between. Um, and, and does Missy Kreider get naked and kiss Naomi Watts in this one? No, actually, we couldn't get Naomi. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's the only lucky guy. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, and Brad Pitt and uh, uh -huh. dating Angelina Jolie, and she's hot. Yes. So, but but, but this thing about perception that it, it won't it, you could go either way at the end. It is plausible to choose either. You could have two people arguing, and one does actually have the correct position. But oh, there is a correct. One. There is a correct position. If so you like. people can be wrong. People can be wrong. Yes. <laughs> so, <okay. laughs> That's good. That'll make me feel better about uh, about the film once I see it, and then I can lord my knowledge over others. Which is the correct answer? Is it reality? Yeah. Well, I, just quietly between you and me. I mean, at the end of the film. So this is only for people. If, if anybody has not seen the film, you should not hear this comment. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. The guy does have chickens. Wow. <laughs> so this is that for won't help you while you're going through it, but no. at the end, hopefully, if you use that nugget of information, you can pull the whole thing That'll back together. Me. Okay. Yeah. So, so you're going for the poultry demographic on this Yeah, movie. poultry demographic's really big. I actually saw the natural history of or the natural life, the, nat the life history, the natural history of a chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
that was my inspiration. <laughs> you don't hear that every day. <laughs>